Hello! I thought it would be fun to share a bit of life behind the scenes at British Girl Bakes, how I make and film my tutorials, some fun upcoming projects and recipes, and some sneak peeks behind the scenes. Let's start with a little tour of my studio. This is where I prepare recipes and frost and decorate cakes for all of my tutorials and online courses. For the best quality audio to try and reduce the echo, I've covered almost every hard surface with softer surfaces, like these curtains, thick rugs on the floor, and sound panels all over the walls and ceiling. My favourite part of the studio is the amazing lighting. Instead of leaving the curtains open, by using only artificial light and making sure that the lighting is always consistent for all of the videos, even if the videos are filmed at different times of day or with different weather outside. And it's all controlled by this switch. So with just one button, I can turn all of the lights off and then look at the difference when I turn them back on. Much better. Here are some cookies for a tutorial I'm working on now and some lunchbox cakes for a tutorial that will be coming out next week. I have a fridge full of cakes which I'm either still busy decorating or they took so long to decorate that they're not edible anymore. So I'll frost over them and use them for a different cake design. Now let's take a peek at the process of making a tutorial. If it's a recipe tutorial, I bring all of the ingredients in here and I mix the batter while filming it from different angles. On the left, you can see what the bigger picture looks like, but I don't usually film like that. I like to film close-up videos, which you can see on the right, to show everything much more zoomed in so you can really see what's happening. It takes about two or three times as long to film a cake than it would take if I just made the cake without worrying about any of the cameras. To turn all of these videos into a tutorial that's much quicker and more interesting to watch, we need to go to my office, so come upstairs with me. Baby gates everywhere, I have two toddlers and they're great at getting into everything. This is my office nook, where I turn video clips into tutorials and online courses and I store everything on four terabyte external hard drives. I'm on number 14 at the moment, so the video files and the editing project file sizes are enormous. I use Final Cut Pro for editing, and I drag all of my video clips into a new project. And before I start editing it, I skim through the whole video and I choose the best still frames to show each step of the process, which I save and I'll upload these later onto my website for a written out version of this tutorial. Then I skim through the video clips again, and this time I type out everything that I want to say about the recipe or technique or whatever it is the tutorial or the online course is about. By giving myself time to think about it and type everything out before I talk over the video, I make sure that I include everything that I want to say so I really explain every step in detail, but in the most concise way possible, so you don't have to spend two minutes listening to something that I could say in 15 seconds. I'm the most impatient person in the world and I like to learn things really quickly, so I also teach in that way. Once the script is written out, we go back down to the studio for the next step. Now it's time to record the audio and that's what this microphone is for up here. Back on the computer, I drag the audio clips into the project and then I go through and I trim all of the video clips to cut out all of the unnecessary bits, but also to time it so that as I'm talking about something, that particular step is showing up in the video. The first thing I do after dragging my video clips into the project is to mute them, to get rid of any of that audio, because then I overlay my own scripted audio over the top. Editing the videos is really slow. There's almost always a lot of coffee involved. As an example, here's the final tutorial footage of slicing into the cake, which is five seconds long, but it took me nine minutes to edit these five seconds. The slicing of cakes is the most time consuming thing to edit though, so it's not all this slow. Okay, final steps. I upload the video to YouTube and schedule it, which is always on a Tuesday because that's the schedule I set for myself. I drag the text of my script onto my website and then I slot in all of the still frame shots that I saved earlier. And I schedule this to publish at the same time as my YouTube tutorial. And that's the process. It takes me about an hour to frost and decorate and film a cake, then about another hour to script the tutorial, 10 minutes to record the audio, then the editing, the most time consuming bit, is about 15 minutes to edit every one minute of the finished tutorial. So if the tutorial is going to be five minutes, it will take me minimum an hour and 15 minutes to edit it. That's being optimistic. Then it will take me about an hour to make the website version and another hour to make something for Instagram. So in total, if I'm doing the numbers correctly, it's about six hours and 15 minutes for every tutorial that I put out. 
Baby number three is on the way, a third boy, so life is about to get very busy in our home. YouTube tutorials and cake school content will continue as normal. I'm baking and decorating a lot of cakes now so that I have content to share every week for the rest of the year, even if I take a bit of a break after the baby comes. You can expect to see tutorials on some really fun cake decorating techniques and some mouth-watering recipes for cake and frosting. And I've just released my brand new master course on the basics of buttercream, which I've completely refilmed in my new studio using lots of new cakes to demonstrate recipes and techniques about how to use, you guessed it, buttercream. You'll find the master course on my cake school and it's included in my Club Plus membership. The link's in the video description and in the top of the screen or go to BritishGirlBakes.com. If you've been to my website recently, you'll have noticed the beautiful new layout with lots of recipes and all of my YouTube tutorials written out with big beautiful photos so it's really easy to follow along. There are comment sections below every recipe and tutorial so you can ask any questions you have or leave a review or just say hi. As you've seen, this is not my real kitchen, it's a studio. The reason is that in my real kitchen, there's a lot going on. I have two toddlers, it's always a mess, and it would be way too time consuming to clean it up every time I wanted to film something. I keep ingredients and I bake cakes in the oven in my real kitchen, and then I do everything else in the studio so I have a clear and a pretty space to film in. My kids love baking in here with me too, just for fun. I hope it's been interesting to see a bit of what it's like behind the scenes. Ask me any questions in the comments or just say hi and tell me what kind of cakes you like to make. Thank you for watching. Thank you.